Now Gilson just talked about it. Single arm press, what are we working? Low trapezius. I want you to grab the bench left arm. I'm gonna go one arm, shoulder press. Okay. One arm, shoulder press. Go ahead and bring it up. Should be light, so let's go nice and slow. Don't rush your breath speed. Now, there's, there's differing opinions. We typically let our athletes choose their arm angle. If you want to go neutral, if you want to go overhand, we typically let them go. What we get is a lot of athletes with shoulder, with elbow, with wrist injuries, where they're more comfortable in a certain position. Some athletes are different. If the kid looks like he can handle it, I'm fine with that. I'm not gonna pressure him to, to rotate that wrist as long as he can control the weight, as long as he can go through the reps, slow down a little bit. Hold down, give you three more, three more. So that's not bad right there, stood right above that shoulder. Hold on to that left side. Good, one more, and that's light, obviously. Press straight up, straight up. Don't let that go forward. He's coming down. Take it down, hold on to it though. Single arm shrug, move right into a shrug. Same thing, so we'll do this with one athlete. We'll take him straight through. Call it your single arm shoulder complex, whatever you want to call it. So we'll start with a press, we'll go to a single arm shrug, and we'll go to what we call our shoulder tree after, which sometimes we'll just do the shoulder tree version. Just give me a couple more like that. Maybe one more squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. So we're hitting the top of the trap now. I've got the dumbbell, good, stay right there. Now we're going to a front raise, right arm to your side. I'm gonna apply the resistance, same thing here. We'll go main resistance, give me a front raise. Straight up in front of your face. As high as you can, high as you can, high as you can, a little higher, a little higher, a little higher. Now push, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. That's what I want. I want constant tension on that muscle. I can choose the speed. I can choose the rep speed. I can choose where I'm giving him more, where I'm giving him less based on his lever advantage. So I can drive into that thing. I can push right here. Now I know he's gonna fight me. I can give him a little bit more on that negative. Give me one more to the front, one more to the front. Get up fast, go, drive. He's trying to push fast now. He's trying, keep breathing, keep pushing. Straight up. Keep going a little higher, a little higher, a little higher, a little higher. Hold right there now, press, press, press up, press up. Four seconds, keep pushing, don't give in yet. Three, two, one, stay right there. Now we'll go right into a side raise. Same thing, side raise, go. Straight arm, pull him down. Going all the way up to the side. Now fight right there, fight me, make me work. Make me work to get you down. Communication is the key. If you're going manual resistance with an athlete, Communication is the key. You gotta to talk to them. They have to talk back to you and let you know what they need. Is that enough? You feel good right there? Mm -hmm. Is that plenty? Yeah. You're gonna get a little more. That's good. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Get up fast, fast as you can. Drive, go, go! There you go, keep moving. Keep moving, every inch, game of inches. You gotta keep moving, you gotta keep gaining ground. He's still moving, barely, but he's moving. Hold right there, hold right there. Touch my hand, touch my hand. Get it up, get it up, get it up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Hold it, five, four, don't give in yet. Three, got two. Got one. Now we're going to a post delt. We're still working the same shoulder, just like you're throwing, just coming back opposite. Okay. We're going to hit that posterior deltoid. Go ahead, open up. Little ankle. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Got to be careful with athletes with shoulder impingement here. Got to push though. Got to fight me down. Come up fast. Go. Drive. Got to be careful with athletes with shoulder impingement here. Make sure that this does not bother their shoulder. Make sure that they're good. If it does, bend your elbow. Bend it. Bend it. Bend it. Bend it. Bend it. Arm up. Arm up. Bend it. Bend the elbow. Rob, do these guys know anatomy? Yeah, Everyone know your elbow here? Yeah. 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 All right. There, you go. Okay. there you go. Now come back. A little high. A little high right there. Same thing. A little less pressure on that shoulder. A little less pressure on that shoulder. Now I could also go into a rotator cuff if I want to be really mean here. Hold that arm up. Externally rotate. High as you can now. High as you can. Don't drop that elbow. Keep it up high. Don't let me hold. Fight me going down. Okay. Come right back up. Ready, set, go. Drive. 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 Right. So that shoulder's pretty burnt up right now. This would be a single arm. He can conference. do more. He can do more. Come on, come on, come on, big fella. Right. I'm just doing it because Rob said. I don't enjoy this. Thing. Don't worry. Need one more. I got one more. Get up fast now. Drive that on that shoulder. Go, go, come on, 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 come on. Hold right there. Push, 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 push. Five, four, three, 